This is how we do it. Digging it. We'll get the blood pumping a little bit, right? <laughs> All right. Welcome everybody to today's uh, hangout. We got a lot of cool stuff we're gonna share with you. Um, I guess before I introduce our special guest, uh, let's get start with some housekeeping rules. If you can, if you can hear us, please type in the chat box. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, if you need to refresh your screen so you can hear us uh, live. Um, let's see what else. Also, um, we want to kind of customize this presentation to you guys. Um, we're talking about how uh, once people see your video ads and you drive traffic to your website, how can we convert those into leads and sales? Um, so again, uh, let us know in the comment box. Let us know what your business is and what what your goal, like your business and marketing goals are. Because I know Ethan and Jackson and I, we're going to kind of customize um, these strategies that Ethan's going to share with us, and we're going to customize them to you guys so you can actually implement them in your business to grow. Um, so that's what we want to accomplish today. Um, Ethan, I'm, Ethan, you guys, uh, he started a company called ConvertFlow, and you know what, Jackson met him at a conference, so I'm going to let Jackson introduce him, and then I'll kind of set the stage, and then we'll just turn the time over to you, Ethan. So, Sounds good. Jackson, why is Ethan so cool? Dude, dude, Ethan, you just you blew my mind at the conference, man. Um, so, so a couple months ago, we uh, we attended ICON, the Infusionsoft uh, conference, and I went with our good buddy Ross Walker. He's our he's our Infusionsoft guru that that helps us set up all of our funnels. Really talented, uh, very good mind. Led me to all the right companies, and um, you know he's looking for some marketing automation stuff and. So we go to the these little booths for you know Battle of the Apps to take a look at all these these different vendors that are there competing and oh my gosh I mean ConvertFlow just blew our mind more than anything um, so Ross is saying there uh, I'm almost dumbfounded as well it's like wow like this is I need this like we we need to move this we need to get this in front of people and and um, you know and then sure enough they they go on and, and win Battle of the Apps this year and. Uh, Guys, we're really excited to show you the value there is. So I'm going to shut up. I'm going to put Ethan in the driver's seat. And uh, Ethan, thanks for being with us, man. Thank you so much, Jackson and Jake. Um, it's an honor to be here, and I'm really glad that you know ConvertFlow was, was mind blowing. I think uh, we're moving into an age where you know, showing the right message to the right person at the right time is really important, whether that's through video or on your website or through email. And so we're going to discuss some ways you could possibly you know you could do that today uh, using ConvertFlow and uh, video marketing, your website, it's going to be pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah, so just to get us all on the same page. Uh, as hey, far Jake, as real quick. Jake. What? How easy is it to blow my mind? It depends. <laughs> depends. <laughs> when it comes to business, when it comes <laughs> to tools. No, I get, yeah, it's, it's uh, seldom, I guess you could say. Jackson's yeah. mind is blown on a rare occasion. And this it has is one to be great. Yeah, absolutely. I'll I'll destroy a booth. Um, so I I wanted to caveat that we walked through dozens of booths at Icon, and uh, there was a handful um, that I that I was really impressed with. So um, yeah, I just want to make sure you guys know I'm not just handing out handing out trophies to everybody here. Yeah. Thank so you. again, a lot of a lot of our audiences they love video. They're passionate about video. They they created some video campaigns. They're running ads to them. Uh, they have their attention. They're using it to drive traffic. And you guys, this is only half the bridge, right? Built, getting their attention and driving traffic to your site is only halfway done because the real goal is for you to generate, like how do you get people on your email list? How do you get people, like how do you get leads? How do you sell your products on your website? And so that's the part that we're going to focus on today is, is not really on the YouTube channel and the videos, but once you get their attention with your videos and they're on your website, uh, there's a whole process that happens. Like I, I call it, it's like the invisible world of online marketing. And Ethan's going to drop some knowledge on us and kind of share some map out flows and, and why it's important to convert that. Uh, also, he's going to share how to. So I guess I'll stop talking, Ethan. I'll turn the time over to you, and we'll just geek out on this. Cool. Let's do it. So let me uh, pull up my slides here. 
I'm gonna have to share my screen. You guys are not gonna be able to see me anymore. I know it's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how can you ignore a face like this too, guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let me know if you all can see my slides fine. Good. Jake? Yep, Jackson? we're good. We can see them. All right, cool. Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about how to get more customers from your videos by using marketing automation on your website. So as Jake was saying, you know, you're driving traffic to your website using video advertising, using your videos, and then you've got to convert that traffic into customers. You've got to sell them your products or your services, and in order to scale up your marketing, in order to actually make it worth your while to create video content and to advertise your videos um, and invest in advertising, you need to be able to convert those visitors in, into customers. Um, and so today we're going to be talking about how to do that automatically using marketing automation both on your website and how to sync that with your current marketing campaigns so that you can show the right message to the right person and convert those visitors into customers. Woo woo. <laughs> cool. So you guys uh, already know everyone on the, on the Hangout, so um, I'm just going to jump right in. So we're going to need you guys to pay close attention because in the next 30 minutes or so, you're going to see a new way to finally get the results that you want from your website and your marketing campaigns. A lot of companies, they struggle with their website because it's not engaging their website visitors with the right message. So they're driving a lot of people to their site, whether it's through video advertising, uh, pay-per-click advertising, maybe SEO and content marketing, um, or just doing social media marketing in general. They're driving people to their website, but most of them are dropping off and are not taking the action they want them to take. So we're going to show you how to actually get people to, to take the action you want them to take on your website and buy your services, buy your products, engage with your brand, um, you know, get them to actually use your website the way you want them to. And guys, Ethan's right on that. We we actually turn down more people than we bring in to our as clients because they don't have a converting website. Um, so that's a very common problem. To get the traffic is one thing, but to convert is another. So good point. Absolutely. So um, I'm the co-founder of ConvertFlow. We recently competed at Infusionsoft's Battle of the Yaps, which is basically a competition they throw every single year um, where different uh, companies and software companies within their partner network uh, compete to be the best, I guess, the, the champion of their Battle of the Apps competition. So this year, Infusionsoft, um, in the Infusionsoft community, there was like over 3,500 attendees. They selected ConvertFlow as the champion, and uh, people were pretty blown away by this concept of what we call on-site marketing automation, which is basically allowing you to sync your website with your marketing campaigns so that you can automate which messages are shown on your site to your visitors. So um, Infusionsoft is really excited about that. A lot of their customers are excited. We're going to be pretty excited to uh, show you how you can use this sort of technology in your business to show the right message to the right person on your site. So please close out any other tabs that might be distracting. So if you've got Facebook open, Gmail, Twitter, let's close them down so that you guys can focus on these points that we're going to be talking about today. Um, so I'm Ethan Denny. I'm the co-founder and CEO of ConvertFlow. Uh, just a little background on me. In 2011, I built a seven-figure seven WordPress website creation and hosting platform, and we served over 1,400 customers in South America and Europe. Um, in 2014, my partners and I started a marketing agency that manages middle-of-the-funnel marketing campaigns, which is basically lead generation and converting leads into customers for both small and medium-sized businesses. And then in 2015, uh, I founded ConvertFlow with my brother, Jonathan Denny. So you might have seen him in that picture uh, in, at Infusionsoft's event. And we built ConvertFlow to scratch our own itch and to serve the needs of our agency clients who wanted to generate more leads from the website and convert more returning visitors into paying customers. So if your website's not re recognizing your visitors and showing them a different message than, than you're showing new visitors, you're dropping the ball, and we're going to show you how to cover it that today and, and uh, actually engage those visitors. So ConvertFlow allows you to engage the right website visitors with the right calls to action at the right time. Now what we're going to cover today is the number one problem stopping businesses and marketers from getting the results and sales they want from their online marketing efforts. We're going to talk about how to generate leads from every page or blog post on your website by using targeted calls to action, how to discover 
who your audience and leads are by using lead intelligence with your YouTube ad landing page forms. I think you guys are going to really like this because this is going to give you some insight into who your audience is and this can then fuel your video marketing campaigns and the content that you create. Um, we're also going to be talking about how to gain more customers by using flows to automate your marketing based on which videos your website visitors are watching. So imagine if people visited your website, they visited a page that your video is on, and based on which content they were looking at, you could send them an email and, and get them to you know, buy your service or product or to fill out some sort of form or take the action you want them to take just because they were watching your video on your website. Um, this allows you to basically engage your visitors wherever they are. This is segmentation on steroids. So, I mean, like, imagine, like, a vending machine. Uh, imagine your website, you know, is, is a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi product. And if I keep going to the Pepsi product page, I start getting emails about Pepsi automatically. Exactly. Right. And then you're able to build an audience, uh, you know, segment your audience and know exactly what sort of content they really like um, and that they're engaging with and watching on your website. So that uh, then can be can fuel your advertising campaigns. And then we're going to finally talk about how to gain marketing superpowers by using ConvertFlow to sync your website with your marketing tools. So it's cool, cool stuff today. Um, we're excited uh, to share these points. Awesome. And before you go, Ethan, we've had people chime in as far as what kind of companies we have. Uh, we have someone selling like luxury travel space and luxury yacht experiences. Oh, cool. Um, we got Kendra. Selling clothing, like clothing lot, selling online clothes. Okay. Um, we got food uh, training courses, and uh, M and M business solutions, and we got a tennis academy. So awesome. those are the types I mean, of business that we have, and again, we can kind of customize to those types of people. I'm Definitely. just thinking, like out loud here, in like Kendra's business, there's so many applications. You know, for, I'm sure so many different product types you offer, um, and we're used to all getting the same email with the same set of forms, like it applies to us somehow. Um, I, this could be huge for you. Um, you know, the yacht experiences, if they're in different parts of the world as well, um, do be able to segment based on location. Mm -hmm. so, sorry, go ahead, Ethan. Yep, exactly. Um, if you're selling, let's say, for, with, with tennis or, or clothes, if, you're, if you have an e-commerce site that's selling products, um, this is going to be really relevant to you as well. So. Um, yeah, it's just going to be pretty exciting to go through this. Um, you guys ready? Yeah, let's do this. Cool. All right, so want to convert more of your website visitors into sales and customers without having to drive more traffic. Now, wouldn't it be nice to be able to take the existing traffic you've got to your website and actually make it work for you, actually get those people to convert into sales, into customers, so that you can reinvest that you know, ROI back into um, your advertising campaigns and scale up your business. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that without having to drive more traffic. And then obviously if you're driving plenty of traffic, this is going to work great for you because you'll be able to just uh, scale up your marketing as well. So I'm going to show you three powerful ways to do this using on-site marketing automation. But first, let's talk about the big problem. So one of the biggest problems stopping most business owners from getting the results they want from their online marketing is that not enough of the website visitors are converting into sales and customers. About 96% of people who visit your website are not ready to buy your product or service. So that's about 4% of people who are ready to buy. So what happens to those 96%? Are you showing them some sort of tar targeted offer that will at least capture their email? Um, are you engaging them differently than you are the people who are ready to buy? This is a, if you're not, then you might be dropping the ball there. Now. This is happening because businesses are still delivering a one-size-fits-all marketing message to all of their website visitors. So they're not treating their customers uh, a different way that, that they're treating new website visitors. They're treating everyone the same and showing the same message to every visitor on their site. And so that's killing their conversions. Um, so if your website is doing this, then you're losing customers by dropping the ball and not converting visitors every time people visit it. Um, so trust me, you're going you're to feel relieved once you see the simple steps that you can take to stop losing leads and customers by using on-site marketing automation. And I promise this, step, this stuff is really easy to implement um, unless you try to custom do and custom build it all. So before we get into these three steps, um, there's one thing that I want you to remember, and that's all about showing the right call to action to the right people at the right time. And 
from J what Jake was telling me, you all are very like familiar with the concept of showing the right message to the right person at the right time. And so that's really important. That That's how you show relevant marketing. And uh, people will not pay attention to your marketing if you're not showing them the right message, if you're not showing them something that's relevant to them. Um, you know, you might, for example, we could be scrolling through Facebook all day, and there's all these different messages, all these different posts, and we don't pay attention to most of them unless one is relevant to us. And then we click in and actually check them out. So there's, yeah. there's a lot of things uh, fighting for your people's attention online, and if uh, you're able to show them something relevant, then you can actually get their attention and earn it. Yep, and so the same thing applies. Like we teach, like in, in your targeting when you're sending out these video ad campaigns, you know what? You need to be targeting the right YouTube channels, the right keywords, the right demographics. Again, right message, right people, right time. Uh, not only does that apply to traffic, but it applies to your website as well. Like if, if it's people who have never heard of you, they need to have this call to action. If they're ready to buy, they should have this call to action. So, um, yeah. Exactly. Go ahead, Ethan. Sorry. Exactly. No, I to totally agree. Um, so, we're going to show you, as the first step to doing this, we're going to show you how to generate more leads from any page or blog post by using targeted calls to action. So if you've got different content on your website, um, maybe people are checking out your services, and you have different pages to promote your services, or you have different pages to promote different products, maybe you've got video, uh, different types of video posted on different types of pages, then you want to show the right call to action to the people who are visiting those pages. Um, you, know, you don't want to show them something that's not relevant to the content they're consuming on your website. So we're going to show you how to generate more leads from any page or blog post by using these targeted calls to action. Now, one type of targeted call to action that you, you should be using on your website is called a lead hook. So lead hooks are a subtle way to engage your website visitors proactively. They pop up in, or they slide up in the bottom right corner of your site. Uh, some of them can be personalized with your image so that it looks like it's coming from from someone on your team, or if you, if you're a, like a personality-based uh, company, then you know it could come from you on your website, and you can actually guide your visitors to take the next step. Uh, imagine if you know someone's watching your video content on your site, and then all of a sudden you pop up in the bottom right corner of your site and engage them and to, and guide them to take the next step. Don't you feel like uh, they would have a much better experience and trust in taking that step if? They just uh, watched a video, you know, where they were interacting with you there, and then all of a sudden you engage them on the site, and now you can get guide them to take the next step. So, lead hooks allow you to do that. Um, overlays are a great way to command attention, and 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 focus someone's attention on the offer or action you want them to take. So, overlays engage your website visitors when people try to exit the site. Um, they can also engage your visitors after a certain amount of time that they've spent on your site, um, they're a great way to just get people to take the action you want them to take. So, Now, um, with tools like ConvertFlow, you can show targeted calls to action on your site based on the content that these uh, visitors are reading or consuming. Um, so systems like ConvertFlow will allow you to show different lead hooks and overlays um, on specific URLs. So in this example here, we can see that if the page URL is you know, website.com slash services and the visitor has been on our page for at least 30 seconds, and if you want to go a little bit, a little bit deeper into it, you know, we, could have, we could show them a call to action based on the tags that they have. But based on the URL that they, they're on and how much time they've spent on your website, you can engage them with a lead hook or a web or a, um, an overlay. So this allows you. Um, by being able to trigger these different calls to action based on the time that they've spent on the site, or if they try to exit the site, if they scroll to a certain point on the site, this allows you to engage them based on their browsing behavior, which is really important. Because imagine if you someone visits your website, and right at the top, you engage them with a call to action when it's a little bit too early for them. They're still checking out your site, still checking out your content. Uh, maybe they haven't even gotten to the point where they've been able to watch your video yet. So if you know that your video is hosted maybe like 70% down the page, then engaging them with a call to action after, let's say, 50 seconds and 70% down the page is the right point where they're actually watching the video, then you're able to hit um, engage them at the right time. So showing these different ca uh, calls to action based on browsing behavior is really important. So that's and, not and, out of context. 
So to apply to apply this to like a real world example, uh -huh. you're never gonna go up to a girl and say, "I want what's your name? I want your number. I want to take you out." Like it's <laughs> it's hey, you know what? Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's let's browse a little bit. Let's get to know each other. So same principles apply to like dating to like marketing, right? You gotta let the consumer visit the content, and you know maybe it takes them 30 seconds a minute to to browse and to to see what they like, and then. Again, you can offer that introduction. Hey, are you looking to generate more leads with your website? You know, so, exactly. And, yeah. and using the the same analogy, like you don't want to go for the sale immediately, right? Uh, so with a girl, you know, you want to take her on a date or maybe ask her to coffee. So in a, the example of how to do that with your website visitors is to ask for their email address and then get them to take the first step with you instead of you know trying to get a whole lot of commitment up front. So guys, real quick, one of the things, one of my favorite slide decks that I've ever seen um, out there is called the Sweet Science of Virality. And <laughs> there's a fact in there, like, th I want to put it in perspective, like, quantify how big this is. Uh, so one example of um, a slider coming out like that is like a, a Facebook, like us on Facebook. You see those all the time where people have it on an article. Uh, well, having that button, you know, it, it generates quite a bit of clicks. But when you have a button that pops up that says like us on Facebook, it's kind of annoying, right? And it, but it still it generates more clicks, which is why businesses do that. Well, in uh, the science of virality, they talk about the progression of of click percentages. If you make that like us on Facebook, if you delay it by 16 seconds, you get 70% more likes wow. than if you don't have a delay on it. Hmm. And that's the science behind what ConvertFlow does and offers is. They, they can get you the right call to actions, and then they can get those to pop up, you know, where you need to, when you need to, so that more people make the clicks. And we're not talking about one or two more. We're talking about diving into the analytics so that you can learn exactly what pe how people are going to react. Exactly. And, again, this is really easy to do. Uh, we'll show you how to set this up in your own business, and you'll see that um, you don't need to know how to design or code or do anything like that to be able to quickly implement these sorts of calls to action on your website. Um, so moving forward here. Um, now the next step is to discover who your audience and leads are by using lead intelligence with your YouTube ad landing page forms. So how many of you already have um, forms on your website, landing pages, where you're collecting contact information? Good question. If you guys can comment in the box, how many of you guys right now are, are using uh, lead forms to build your email list? Just type in yes if you are. And if you're not, you need to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, so if you are collecting emails already, then isn't it a little frustrating that you know, you've got this anonymous email address but you don't know who that person is? Even though that person could be an influencer, they could be I don't know, maybe someone that you know, is part of the media, um, it could be a potential customer, or it could just be a, a, a perspective, you know, yeah, a perspective customer for your services. If you don't know who that person is, how do you market to them? How do you, you know, show them the right message? Well, using lead intelligence, um, their services, commercial included, but there are other, other services as well, that will research those email addresses and then build a full profile on who that person is. So it'll research their their social media profiles and all their presence online based on that email address and then find a picture, the first name, the last name, which company they work for, what their job title is. You can see their influence online. So some of these services will actually uh, find the number of followers they have as well as their bio from like their LinkedIn or, or Twitter um, accounts um, as well as the city and state. So imagine as soon as you collect an email address, you quickly get a profile of who that person is. Now, if, you, if you're doing any email marketing, this is great because now you can leverage that data to personalize your emails. Um, if you're focused on selling to people in a specific city or, or state, then just because we've, you know, we found that sort of information, you could automate email uh, campaigns or uh, different you know, messages to go out to them based on what city or state they're, they're in. Um, this, this information is also really uh, useful because it shows you who you should be targeting with your videos. Um, so imagine building all these profiles of who, these, who your audience is, and then now you can create more targeted videos, create more relevant content based on data um, instead of maybe just wow. assuming who, who they might be, right? This is awesome. Ethan, and, that's, 
I, I want to add to that because, um, guys, if you have a sales team that is, you know, screaming at you, we need better leads. The leads are bad. You know, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross situation here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> coffee's for closers. Uh, but if you're in that boat, like this is this is what your sales team needs. Like they do need to know who the people are behind the email address, and they don't need to be cold calling to get those. People are signing up for your email list. Then let's make sure to to know which of those are qualified. Uh, it's it's a great thought. If you have a sales team, they would die for this. Right. Um, also, with ConvertFlow, it'll actually send you a profile to the to your inbox or to the inbox of your sales team or anyone that's uh, important on your team that that communicates with your customers. So imagine. Oh, Scott had so, a good question to sure. Ethan. Sorry, he said, "Will it populate into Infusionsoft?" Yes, it will. Boom. So, and, I, and I would imagine that Constant Contact, Mailchimp as well. Yeah, definitely. So it takes all the research data and just passes it over to uh, your email marketing solution. So awesome. then you can personalize your, your campaigns. Awesome. Um, Very cool. But yeah, it'll also send a, an alert to your team, um, to salespeople, to whoever you set it to alert uh, to to send to, um, with the full profile of who that person is in your inbox. So you could quickly just you know contact them right from within your inbox as well. Very cool. Um, now, so having the the research data is really important. Um, the lead intelligence being able to qualify who these people are, uh, qualify them as as you know potential customers for your business, um, knowing how to treat them. It's really important for showing the right message to the right person at the right time. The next step is to use what we call uh, what are called flows to automate your marketing based on which videos your website visitors are watching. So based on what con uh, which URL they're on and maybe some other information that you have on them, uh, based on which videos they're watching, you're able to show the right call to action to the right person. You could send the right email to the right person. Um, and eventually, you know, be, be able to show the right ad to the right person. So we're going to show a little bit of how that works here. This but, is this is high level like remarketing stuff we're talking about. This is cool. This is high level. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, is it possible? I mean, excuse, excuse my my ignorance, but is it possible to remarket with YouTube? Yeah, so absolutely. That's and that's one of the strategies we teach in our in our video lab is like we don't set up any campaign unless there's remarketing involved. So nice. like for example. If somebody has never been to your website, has no idea who you are, they should see, you know, this ad. If people have been on your website but you haven't opted in, they should see this ad. Uh, so it, it's all about again, even from a traffic standpoint, we all we we teach and preach it's all about segmentation with remarketing lists. And so Very what we're cool. taking with this, I mean, this is basically in a remarketing and segmentation on your website as well as your email list too. Exactly. So this is this is very cool stuff. Awesome. So how many times have you visited a website and saw a pop-up box promoting an offer lead magnet that you've already subscribed for? I mean, has that happened a lot to you guys? It happens, yep. Mm. And so what happens in that sort of scenario? You just close it out and someone misses, the, the website owner misses out on the opportunity to convert that visitor into a customer or to get them to take the next step because they've already seen the, the action that you're promoting, right? So that's a big no-no. Um, we want to engage these people with the right message. By showing everyone the same message, we create what's called a leaky funnel. So people are visiting your website at different stages within the buying process. Some of them are just discovering your brand, so they're in the awareness stage. Um, they may not be sure like what problem they're trying to solve. They, just, they recognize they have a problem. They might have come across your brand, and they're learning all about the problem that you, your company solves uh, what what products and services you offer, and you need to treat those people differently than you would treat people who are ready to buy and already know what they want. So by not showing the right message to the right person, people are dropping off at all these different stages on your website. And I'm sure this can happen with, with video as well. Um, wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah, absolutely. I love this. Uh, Ethan, I could build a coaching business model strictly off of that image. I know um, that image is amazing. It's powerful, uh, guys. Take a take a screenshot real quick before you. Can... <laughs> okay, I'll um, keep it up for just a second then. <laughs> but yeah, people are dropping off throughout your funnel or throughout your marketing campaigns um, because if you're if you're not showing the right message to the right person, then you know that's just not relevant for them at these different stages. So, um, and that's a conversion killer. So, 
that's why one size fits, uh, fits all marketing funnels are a thing of the past. Where you know we've got the technology now, where we can all show the right message to the right person um, who's interacting with our brand. And mar marketers and and other you know customers and prospects who are are being forced down the same marketing process or the same sales process that everyone else has to go through, regardless of what steps they've already taken with your your brand, are frustrated if you're forcing them down that same process. Guys, think about this. Like I. Listen, we love you guys. Like that's why we get so into these into these opportunities to show you these new tools. Is we've been there. Like I, I felt the pain, but think about it yourself. Like, when's the last time you went to a business's website and clicked on every page and read every page on their website? It, never. Maybe in the '90s, um, you know, <laughs> but not since then because we just look for what we want. Well, your customers do the exact same thing, and it, it you know it helps when, once you guys. Uh, all adopt that and get in that mindset of, of targeting correctly, you're all going to make a whole lot more money and then you, you're going to need somebody to run the YouTube ads. Um, so at the end of the day, there's there's a benefit to us in, in doing this and bringing these to you. But I just I want to point out that even though this may not be totally applicable to you yet, you may not be right at this stage, keep listening to Ethan, keep writing this stuff down, take the information overload and, you know, get ready to use it. Uh, so... Keep going, Ethan. Sorry, I'm, my own brain's hurting here. <laughs> Sorry, um, but that that principle of you know showing the right message to the right person applies to you know, video marketing, applies to the content on your website, um, your marketing in general. So you know, if you come out out of this uh, this hangout with that one you know principle, um, and you think about how you can apply that in your business, then this was all worth it, for sure. So um, by using flows, you can automate your marketing based on which videos your website visitors are watching. So um, based on the, the URL that they're on, um, you know, you, you could have different video posts, I guess. And then based on that, that URL that they were on, you could show them a specific call to action. And then as soon as they engage with that call to action, you could show them a different call to action. So you could recognize where they are in your marketing process and or your sales process and engage them with the next step that they need to take. Um, so people who have visited a, a different URL can see a totally different sequence of calls to action on your website. And, and then obviously you would send them different email follow-ups and then maybe even engage them with different video, uh, different video content based on what they're doing on your site. Wow. So here's an example of how you could use uh, on-site marketing automation and tools like ConvertFlow to be able to automate your marketing campaigns and show the right message to the right person based on the vi videos that they're watching on your website. So let's take this lead here, um, we're at the start here uh, button. So a visitor lands on your page, and because they visit a specific URL, you show them a specific call to action. Now, let's say they submit that form, you can immediately start an email follow-up campaign that will then get them to watch the next video. And as soon as they do, you could, if you're using Infusionsoft or some sort of uh, email marketing solution that allows you to apply tags, you could apply a tag to that visitor and then because you have a tag on, on that visitor, maybe like this person watched this video, then you could show them a specific call to action just because that visitor has that tag and get them to go ahead and buy your product or service. So um, this is just an example of what that campaign could look like. Um, but we could run through a real example so here. Where does that call to action go? Uh, like, does that mean next time they come to the home page, Ethan, or how does that work? Yeah, so... Uh, it could be when they visit the homepage. It could be vi when they visit a specific content piece on your site or whenever they're watching another video on your site. Uh, ConvertFlow will al allow you to actually remarket your visitors and will follow them across the website and show them the right call to action that they need to engage with in order to take the next step. So it could be on any page on your site. Awesome. This is a great blueprint map. Ross is digging this. <laughs> <laughs> Did, uh, did Ross join us today? Yeah, Ross, he, he's our Infusionsoft guy, and he oh, okay. he's, he's geeking out with us as well. Now, that is a slide to screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> I charge people a lot of money just to draw them a map like that to follow. <laughs> That's uh, true. So, and one other person asked, uh, Get Response also integrates. Yeah, I believe uh, we do have an integration with Get Response as well. Awesome, there goes, cool. There. Um, also, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat box, and we will get to them uh, either 
as like as we get there or at the very end of the end of the call. So, um, I, all right, Ethan, continue. Sorry, no worries. <laughs> so uh, the last step is to just you want to be able to gain these marketing superpowers by syncing your website with Infusionsoft or your other marketing tools. Um, for the longest time, companies haven't been able to integrate their website with their marketing campaigns. So everyone is doing, let's say, dynamic marketing through automated emails. They're automating which emails get sent to people. They might be using retargeting and remarketing to show them the right video or the right ad online. But when people are visiting the website, and all of these, these uh, traffic sources lead people back to the website, and then the website shows the same message to everyone. So there's a little bit of a disconnect there. Um, using Tremorflow and using other uh, systems that allow you to personalize your site, you can gain these marketing superpowers and totally sync your marketing campaigns across your different channels to show the right message to the right person. So um, you know, delivering marketing messages without the right information is like throwing against <laughs> you know what, against the wall to see what sticks. So Throwing poop. Exactly. So um, if you don't know like who your visitors are and you're not engaging them with the right message, um, if you're not gaining any sort of lead intelligence on them, then you're kind of taking just shots in the dark to see what message, what you know, content will work best with them. Um, so get, using Convertible, using some sort of system that will allow you to gain that uh, intelligence on your contacts and show the right message to the right people will allow you to actually create effective marketing. Um, now, the great thing is that your website can provide you with a lot of data to make the right offer to the right people. Um, you're able to track you know, which pages people are visiting on your site. You can see which uh, videos people are watching based on the URLs they're visiting. If you do a lot of blogging, you can see which content they're consuming. And so this is really important for you know, driving the right marketing campaigns uh, for these people. And this all allows you to do more event-driven marketing versus hit-or-miss marketing. So based on you know, uh, page visits and uh, the calls to action they engage with, the forms they submit, the content they consume, you can then trigger marketing messages, emails, calls to action, different things like that, uh, the right ad if you're doing retargeting, to show to these people based on those events. So here's a quick overview of these steps that we talked about today. Um, so you want to generate more leads with the right offer by using target calls to action on every page or blog post. Um, you can discover who your audience and leads are by using lead intelligence with your YouTube ad landing page forms. Uh, ConvertFlow does this. There are other systems that also do this. I highly recommend uh, implementing that with your, your current landing pages so that you get an idea who your audience is um, and who you're capturing. Uh, the next step is to gain more customers by automating your marketing based on which videos your website visitors are watching. So you want to show them the right message and the right call to action based on the content they're consuming. Now, does everyone see how this can be a game changer if you're not already using this in your business or for your clients if you're an agency? Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, Ethan, awesome. real quick. Um, yeah. As far as landing page forms goes, uh, let's say I'm not there yet. I don't have one. What do you recommend? Or what? give us a range if you, if you can. Uh, for cre creating those forms? Yeah, any, any tools that you prefer? Um, so, well, obviously I'm going to promote ConvertFlow. ConvertFlow uh, <laughs> allows you to create embedded forms that you can then just embed with a little script on your website. You can, um, you have, there's a real-time editor, so you can see all your changes in real time. You can add different fields, custom fields, style it the way you want, and then embed it on your website. There are other systems that allow you to create uh, good forms. I think there's like Gravity Forms. So if you use WordPress, they're a great plugin for WordPress. Um, there, there are a number of different solutions. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. awesome. Um, uh, Ethan, we've got a couple more questions, but before sure. I ask those, is there anything else you wanted to cover before we get to the questions? Um, I prepared a, a pretty cool little bonus for a little gift for your audience, um, okay. which we can share whenever. Yeah, let, let's let's talk about that bonus now, and we're going to cover these questions after that. So cool. Um, so we've made it pretty easy for you. Actually, this is how easy it is to get started using this sort of like process if you try to like custom build it. You would have to code it all. It's, it can be really <laughs> complex. Um, but you know, we're not going to make you guys do that. We, we built, we spent a lot of time and over, we've written over 200,000 lines of code in order to make this simple for you. Um, so we made it really easy to use on-site marketing automation on your website. So just to show you ConvertFlow really quick, and then we're going to give you a nice little bonus which will allow you to use ConvertFlow for a little while 
as well as uh, show you a nice little map on how to like build this process out in your business. Um, Commerflow allows you to engage your visitors with the right message, the right call to action. Um, you can sync it up with your marketing tools. You can add tags to visitors, start email sequences within your different marketing tools. It allows you to use all your website data to, to do that. You can create these different calls to action that you can use on any page or blog post on your site. There's a real-time editor, so you can see all your changes in real time, upload images, customize the design for your website so that it matches the same style. Um, there are lead hooks, overlays, different types of calls to action. Um, here's some examples of those. So this is a full screen overlay. This takes up the full screen. Um, here's another example. Nice. So you can promote your lead magnets. You can promote your offers, um, show discounts, use them on like to, on people who try to abandon your shopping cart if you need to do that, capture leads. There's a number of different ways that you can uh, use ConvertFlow's calls to action. I'm just going to go through these really quick. And then you can automate these calls to action with flows. So these are basically like automated campaigns that show to visitors, uh, show different calls to action to visitors based on the criteria that you've set. So if it, the criteria could be if people visit a specific page, let's show them this. If they've got a specific tag or in, or in this particular part of our, our marketing campaign, let's show them this call to action. You can go pretty, uh, get pretty granular with this. Um, you can retarget every visitor, so you can follow them around your website and show them the right message. And you can trigger all sorts of actions within your marketing tools, right from within ConvertFlow. So this actually allows you to manage your marketing campaigns for the, for, you know, the most part and the different marketing tools you use for right from within ConvertFlow, which is, saves a whole lot of time. Um, you can gain lead intelligence on all the contacts that you collect, and you can integrate it with a lot of the different tools that you use. So with for, for Infusionsoft, we, uh, this is basically a marketing automation solution for your website. If you use Infusionsoft, uh, the Infusionsoft community, community was pretty, pretty wild about this um, because they weren't able to integrate their site the way they are now. So, um, yeah. Awesome. And so Very cool. it, I'm just going to finish up here. But, yeah, we made it really easy for you to get started. Um, we've, for the friends of Video Power Marketing, we've created a startup bundle which includes a conversion map. So this shows you uh, how to build this multi-step process or campaign to convert visitors into customers. And we show you how to use ConvertFlow at these different steps, how to use retargeting. So you'll be able to see like how, um, at what points you should be using like maybe videos. And I'm sure, like, I, mean, I know Jake and, and Jackson teach you a lot about that. So you might al already see points where you could integrate what they're teaching you into uh, this sort of campaign. Um, you'll be able to get a free demo, on-demand demo of ConvertFlow, and you get $100 in free ConvertFlow credits. So um, just save. That applies, like I think it's like $50 a month that you get off the ConvertFlow uh, plan. So you could go to that URL and get your free ConvertFlow startup bundle. And let's take it from there, guys. That's awesome. So, uh, Ethan, thank you. That's uh, uh, great. And just that, that, that map, that blueprint map that you showed out, just to map out someone's funnel, like that looks... Amazing. So, um, yeah, Ethan, thank you. You guys, if you guys are interested in this at all, I, again, if you if you have traffic, that's only half the battle. The real the real solution is converting that traffic into the leads and sales, and ConvertFlow is a powerful tool. So I highly recommend you go check it out, convertflow.com slash power bundle. Um, all right, so are you ready for some questions, Ethan? Let's do it. We got some good ones. Cool. Uh, all right, so the first question um, if my contact in Infusionsoft moves from their laptop to their phone, does ConvertFlow know that? Yes. Moving from device to device. They do? It does as long as they're using, let's say, they're using the same browser on their phone as they are on their laptop. So they use Google Chrome or Safari on their, their laptop, and then from their mobile phone, they use Safari as well. ConvertFlow will be able to, like, it, it, it tracks their, um, it drops a cookie on, on the browser and we'll follow them across devices. Now, if they switch to a different type of browser, so if they use Safari and then they switch to Firefox, then um, it w wouldn't track that. But it will track across the device if it's the same browser. Awesome. Um, good, yeah, we got, we got a couple more. If you guys have any questions, put them in the chat box. We're answering questions right now. Um, number two, how does, uh, how does ConvertFlow affect the load time of the, of the page, of the website? 
So it's totally asynchronous, meaning that your website will load first and then ConvertFlow will load after. Um, we make sure that you know the experience isn't affected in any way uh, by using ConvertFlow. Awesome. Um, and then third question, does this work with any website or is it just WordPress? So uh, when you do create a, a website that you're going to add ConvertFlow to, uh, you basically get this little script, this one line script, just like a Google Analytics code that you would add to your head or footer. And um, that's it. So it works with any CMS. It can work with WordPress, it can work with um, Joomla or any other CMS that you might use. And yeah, it awesome. takes us in like five minutes to set up. Very cool. Um, the last question I have here, um, is it okay to include your code in the Google Tag Manager? Yeah. So that, yeah. that code you're talking about, if you put that in the Google Tag Manager, will it still trigger and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, it will. Um, we recommend adding it separately, adding it to your website directly, just so that there's nothing that you know could conflict with ConvertFlow script. But um, a lot of our customers have used the Google Tag Manager, and it works smoothly. Awesome. Very cool. Um, well, this has been great. I hope you guys have gotten a lot out of it. Um, Jackson, did you have any follow-up questions that you wanted to ask, Ethan? Or um, I was just going to say, guys, if, if you enjoyed this today, like if this is something that you felt was valuable, make sure to let us know, um, you know either on Twitter um, you know, or on Facebook, our Facebook page. Just chime in and, and tell us um, if you'd love to have Ethan come back as well and, and uh, share around too and, and dive deeper. Uh, it seems like... <laughs> Um, you know, there's so much we could learn from him. So, Ethan, we're just we're grateful to have you, man. I appreciate your time that you put into putting the putting this together for our users, and we're glad to have you as a friend. Well, thank you uh, so much for for having me on here. I'm really honored, and um, I'm glad to have you guys as friends as well. <laughs> awesome, uh, Ethan. We got one more question that snuck in here. Um, cool. w the question is, will it work with AdBlock on, or will there be some issues with AdBlock? Um. So, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, if you want, um, let me see. I have AdBlock on, and I'm on your site. Is it working? I mean, I see your call to actions for sure. Um, okay. I believe I've had a couple of, of overlays pop. Yep, the, the Infusionsoft. Here's uh, Jonathan down in the corner here. Okay, uh, so, I, up I, too, so I, I so assume it does work. Um, but if, if you want, you know, if that person would like to email uh, support at ConvertFlow, then one of our team members can give them a more, um, more detailed answer. One of our developers, we can uh, we can check with them. Gotcha. And we kind of have a buyer question here. Uh, cool. If you want to chime in, how much does it cost? So it starts at seventy-seven a month. Um, that allows you to use ConvertFlow on, on one website. If you want to use it on multiple websites, uh, we have different plans, and it also uh, it, the pl the plans go up in price uh, depending on how many events you want to track on contacts. So an event would be whenever someone visits a page or submits a form, um, clicks a call to action button or, or link on your website, Commercial is tracking all of those events, which then allows you to show different calls to action to them based on the events that you've tracked. So, um, but it starts at 77 a month. You can check out our plans page and see which one would be you know, ideal for your business. Yeah, and I'm sure like, it's, it's a probably this that it's more of an investment because if, if if all this does is increase your conversion rate for your leads or your sales, I mean, it pays for itself within a day, I would imagine, uh, depending on how many leads and, and, and sales you get. So I think it's, a, a, yeah, it's a great, great investment, especially if that, that's all it did. Part that's of what we realized with that, too, with our, with our YouTube ads that we tell people is ads, are, that's one of the best ways to, to test and know what's working is you've got to know where you're at before you start you know, before you can go on to the successful path. Like if I if I get ConvertFlow and it shows me that things aren't converting, well, you've just saved yourself a ton of time. Whereas you know you could be waiting for months to know what's working or not. So it it speeds up maybe the painful failure so that you can then get to your success point. Um, so Ethan, do you? I'm gonna throw a curveball at you. Do you have a <laughs> case study, um, available or anything like that? Uh, um, let me see. So I can pull up. And in the meet, while you're pulling that up, Ethan, um, we're getting some love for you. Uh, everyone's saying, great great job, guys. Uh, Scott has a good comment. He's like, one conversion would pay for a, years of, a, years of subs a year subscription to ConvertFlow, and that's, that's true. Depending on, on your average order value. Yeah, exactly. Um, great. Ross is geeking out. Salute to Ethan on a great product. So good job, Ethan. Oh, thank you so much. 
Um, I mean, that goes out to all the, the, the team here. They, uh, they work hard on it. So Jason Bond, uh, he gets quite a bit of traffic to his website, and he uses ConvertKit to engage his visitors. Um, and this is, this is James Bond brother. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jason Bourne and James Bond. Never yeah. mind. I won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Jason uses, his, uses ConvertKit on his website. And, um, and what does he do? So he, they, they're a financial education company. They teach people how to trade stocks. Yeah. And so they do sw uh, swing trading and different types of, of trading styles. And so um, I don't have the specific numbers, but I know that they've generated thousands of leads on, up, up, on top of what they were already generating. So um, just by engaging the organic traffic to the website. So they, they do a lot of advertising, but they also send a lot of people to their site through email marketing, and they are ranked on Google uh, search engines. And they were not engaging those website visitors with the right call to action. And so once they started using ConvertFlow, they were able to engage this whole new segment of traffic to their website and convert a lot more uh, visitors into leads. Hey guys, this is really cool because, like, when I think of marketing automation, I tend to think of, like, Google and Tesla and YouTube and, like, these giant companies that have these massive budgets, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars to invest. And these are the types of tools that are now available for everyday people like, like us. Like, you know, Jason Vaughn, you can see right there, is a solopreneur, um, you know, and, and maybe he does have a big team behind him now. But that, that price point, and like uh, Scott said, you know, based on your average order value, it, you could be able to cover that expense um, quite quickly. So, um, Also, I wanted uh, to share this. This is really cool. Um, so I, we've, we've looked at a lot of our customers, and, and they've shared these stats with us. A lot of customers are converting anywhere from, you know, let's say 3% to, to 25% or 30% of their new website visitors into leads, right? But then using these automated calls to action, they're able to engage. We, we see conversion rates from 30 to 75% on the returning visitors. So being able to engage those people who are already uh, have, have already taken some sort of action with the right message increases your conversion rates significantly. Wow, that's awesome. That's pretty powerful right there. Again, so. if you've been in, in the sales and the phone call game, uh, you know, cold sales, you know that the calls, I mean, you, it takes a certain amount of no's to get that yes. And these, uh, these buttons, that's why I, I like marketing automation and marketing in general is because it takes the amount of no's that I have to hear away. If they're right. telling no to that button a couple times, the next thing you know, the button sells, it, sells the product for you. Um, so super cool. Awesome, guys. Well, uh, if there's no more questions, I think we're going to wrap it up. Again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Ethan, thank you for coming and sharing your knowledge and sharing your product with us. Um, and and uh, if there's no more questions, you guys, uh, again, check out ConvertFlow. We will send some follow-up emails with some more information and the links that you guys can use to get started with that. And we will sign off, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Pleasure. You guys.